Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be robots. There are a lot of things that are different between machines and life forms. One of those things is that life forms can evolve over time, or as Dr. Ian Malcolm would say, life uh, finds a way. What I mean by that is that life forms mutate, they change, and they can improve generation over generation. Traits that help survival are likely to stick around because animals that have those traits live long enough to have little baby animals. Machines don't have that advantage, right? Well, not quite. In fact, we've got a pair of disciplines, evolutionary computation and evolutionary robotics, that are changing that for machines. And this isn't a new idea. Back in 2006, some researchers with NASA used an evolutionary computational algorithm to design antennas for a spacecraft. And guess what? The machine-designed antennas worked better. Now I'm going to go a step further. Recently, some researchers from the University of Cambridge published a paper in which they talked about a mama robot building little baby robots. The mama robot would build the modular robots based upon a genome, a sequence of genes. And it would then pick each piece up, glue it to the next one, and continue until the robot was finished. It would pick this up, move it to the testing grounds, and then wait to see the results. Now, the test was pretty simple. Just go across a distance within a certain amount of time, and those that were faster were deemed to be better. Each robot was taken apart by hand, and they would start over. The mama robot would then design new genomes, tweaking existing ones or even crossing two well-performing ones in an attempt to make a super bot. The results were really interesting. They started with 10 genomes and ran for 10 generations, meaning there were a total of 100 robots per experiment. And in every case, the 10th generation outperformed the first generation. So what does this mean? Well, in the far future, we may have machines that are capable of designing robots that are faster, more efficient, more powerful than anything we humans could come up with. Machines don't know what is and isn't possible. So sometimes an improbable design results in something that works perfectly. Now, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I think for the foreseeable future, humans and machines are going to be working together, each one doing certain things better than the other one can. I don't think it'll be until the far future when robots really take over all those tasks. But by then, we'll all be part robot ourselves, right? I've got a serious question for you guys. What do you think about evolutionary robotics? Is that exciting to you? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring our show. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that little like button for me. And join the Forward Thinking Think Tank by subscribing to our channel. Then make sure you check out these other videos right over here, or the robots will win.